What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tammy Talks. So it's been like eight or nine years, something like that, since I have last posted on YouTube, which is crazy, which is ridiculous, but I mean, better late than never, right? So I wanted to get back into doing more YouTube videos. Um, for those of you that are new that don't know, I started as a blogger back in 2008-ish. Um, started TammyTalks.com in 2009. Had a pretty good run with it up until about 2013. Um, had some celebrity interviews. I broke a story or two. And my website had over 500,000 views hits. So, I mean, it was cool while it lasted. I stopped doing it. Um, I work a nine to five job and I'm not able to post new stories, new late breaking stories, you know, right as they come out because I'm at work. My work computer is not for me to be searching, you know, gossip sites and all that different type of jazz. So wasn't able to keep doing that. Um, I had a podcast that I still kind of update every now and again, which is me just on there talking my ish. And then I had a podcast with a friend of mine where we did like TV show reviews and recaps, but it got out of control where we were up to like six or seven episodes or six or seven TV show episodes within each podcast. And it got crazy. So I want to get back into talking about these TV shows one by one by one. Um, I know I'm super late for like summer shows because a lot of them have been airing already, but I'm about to go ahead and kind of wrap up and talk about some of these shows in totality. Um, and then just kind of go through and rant about them and, and hope that, hope that y'all enjoy. So let's get started with growing up hip hop first. Before that, um, like the video, subscribe share, comment, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, all that, um, let's just have some fun on this channel. So let's get started. Growing up hip hop, I got my iPad to the side here. Growing up hip hop, what the hell happened to the show? I feel like when the show first started, and I'm talking about the original cast, the, I guess the New York slash California cast, where it's basically the Simmons kids, um, Peppa's daughter and I guess Peppa's niece. Those are really the main focuses. So this past season, we just saw the finale um, last week and the entire season has been lackluster. I know that COVID has really taken a hit on a lot of the shows that we like, especially reality shows, just because they're not able to really get out there and film and get together the way that they're used to, right? So, growing up hip-hop's cast is, I have the picture up right here. The cast is the older three Simmons kids, so Vanessa, Angela, and JoJo. Um, Lil Twist, Brianna, Boogie, who is Dame Dash's son. Brianna is Kendu, Mary J. Blige's ex-husband. That's his daughter. Um, then we have two of Stevie J's kids, Stevie Jr. and Savannah. Um, Salt, I keep saying Salt and Peppa's daughter. Pep and Tretch's daughter, Egypt, her fiance, Sam. And then Peppa's niece, who is Tahira, TT. And then her fiance. We also have um, JoJo's wife, Tanise. And then Easy E's son, Eric. And his wife. What a shit show of a show. What a just a complete mess of a show. When the show first started and it was more focused on the Simmons kids, Lil Romeo, I think one of the DeBarge kids was on, one of the DeBarge's daughters was on there, and Jam, Mas Jam Master J's son and Boogie. When it was originally on there, I feel like all of these kids had like actual things that they were doing. They, they had a purpose for being on TV, right? So we were able to see like, okay, Angela is doing this with getting her fitness stuff together, getting her fashion together. Um, we would see Jam Master J's son who was like DJing and scratching like his father. And it's like, what is the show? What is the fucking show? Can't cast his YouTube. Sorry. 
But it's like, it is so, it is so crazy to watch it. So let's just kind of go through cast member by cast member, right? So we have Angela, who clearly doesn't like anybody on the show because she doesn't film with anybody aside from her, um, occasionally she films with JoJo. She don't film with Vanessa. We know you don't like your sister. It's clear. It's very, very clear. So occasionally she films with Vanessa. I feel like she's filming with her more so now because so many people on social media have brought up the fact that you don't ever film with your sister. So we see her with JoJo occasionally. Um, otherwise, she's always with her, they call her her right hand, Katrina, that her assistant. So it's, it's crazy that Angela's the executive producer but Angela doesn't film with the rest of the cast. She very rarely shows up to like these group events that they have where, you know, the entire cast is supposed to be at. She does her own scenes. Angela doesn't have a storyline. When Romeo was on the show, Angela's storyline was focused on Romeo. Will they get together? Will, you know, this flirtatious thing that they have going on, the, the push and pull of their, the dynamic of their relationship. When Romeo left the show, they brought in Bow Wow, which is another, oh, she likes Bow Wow to flirt with her, but she doesn't really want to be with him. It's more of, I just like the attention that Bow Wow gives me. So, like, it's it's dumb. Angela has no purpose for the show. Um, I would, like, she doesn't want to share anything. We saw that she was dating that one boxer, and that was so short-lived, and that was, what, two episodes? And then she spent the rest of the season whining and complaining that people are in her business when you put your business out on social media so it is ah Angela is so jarring because it's like we don't actually see you doing anything the last episode we see her doing a photo shoot for a, a calendar a swimsuit calendar and it's like what for honestly like what is the purpose of you doing the swimsuit calendar there is no purpose um, I think it would kind of be better if we saw her actually do, like, she does have a couple different businesses. If we saw her actually working with those businesses, you know, actually doing something with them, it would come across better. But just watching you complain, you only film in your apartment in Miami or your condo, like, it is weird. Then we have Vanessa, who has literally no storyline. Vanessa has literally no storyline. Vanessa doesn't talk about her family. Vanessa does not show her family. She shows her son, her son, she shows her daughter occasionally, but she has been engaged in dating that, that Wayans boy for years. He must refuse to be on the show. We don't see Vanessa working. We like, we just don't see, Vanessa has no storyline aside from being in everyone else's business. Um, which is unfortunate because we know that Vanessa is a, a, I call it a black Hollywood actress. She does a lot of those like movies that are like Sunday afternoon on like TV one. She has, she's in a couple movies that's on that, that one streaming service. What is it called? Like all black or something where it's literally just a bunch of like black movies. Um, but it would, I mean, let's see her going some auditions. Let's see her studying for a script. Let's see how, let's see her grocery shop. Let's see Vanessa do anything else but just be in everyone else's business. Vanessa's, Vanessa's talented. Like, if there has to be something else that y'all can give this woman to do that makes her at least interesting on the show. Then we have JoJo Simmons. JoJo is, I think, a, a manager. He has... A, like a uh, producing company I think and then on top of that he has like a clothing line about like for dads we see none of that on the show we never see Jojo doing any type of work all we saw Jojo scream about this entire season was how he wanted to go to Jamaica for TC's wedding nigga go <laughs> y'all are acting like y'all can't go to Jamaica unless y'all go with TT for TC's wedding like it is the entire season was so annoying Hearing them cry about, oh, I want to go to Jamaica. I thought we were going to Jamaica. Like, y'all can go. Go to Jamaica. Um, so, like, the Simmons kids really, 
I get that they are truly, they did grow up hip hop, but they're not serving any real purpose on the show. Um, JoJo's story has really just kind of been about his wife. So they had, they have a daughter together last season or season before we saw their, their wedding planning, which was somewhat interesting. And then now this season started with them announcing that they had a miscarriage and then now that they are having, um, they're pregnant and they announced that they are having, I think they're having a boy. I think it's a boy, but they're pregnant again. So the entire season was just kind of making sure that Tanise, his wife, stays relaxed and she stays calm and, but let's not tell anybody because she's still nervous. And it's just like, there's no storyline. She says she's an entrepreneur on the final episode. What what are you what company does Tinnies have? Feature it on the show. Um, Boogie, Dame Dash Jr. Boogie truly has no storyline. His entire storyline um has been about him trying to put Brianna into like some type of rehab situation. And then he dated Savannah, Stevie J's daughter, for a little bit. And it's kind of like, did they ever really date or was it just for the show? But like Boogie, I remember when the show first started, he had like a cookie company or like a bakery or something in New York. Then he was going to be like a, a party planner, I think, or or like an event host. Or then he, after he had his bout with drugs and alcoholism, he was going to open like these, I don't know if they're rehab centers, but like treatment group houses for recovering addicts and we don't see any of that we literally don't see anything that any of these people are doing so it's kind of like what is the what is the purpose of the show everyone is just put into these actual orchestrated scenes and events they interact for the 10 to 20 minutes that we see on tv which i'm sure is like hours of actual footage but we're not getting anything from it um, Lil Twist is on the show. Lil Twist had his little um, house slipper line. We saw the one episode about that, the one scene about that, and that was kind of it. So it's like, is he really necessary on the show? Like, what, what, the, what, 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 what is going on? It is crazy how this show has so much potential. And then now it's just kind of like, it's just a free for all and just passive income for some of these people. Um, Stevie Ga Stevie J's kids, absolutely no purpose on the show. Especially um, Stevie Jr., who I feel like his storyline was just trying to figure out where his sister got her money from. Savannah's role on the show was to be messy. Her role was to be the bone collector, one of the bone collectors, all she did was hear information and then go run it out to whatever the first castmate that she saw was. So it's kind of like, come on, y'all. What are we doing? What are we doing? Like, she's working on the clothing line. We didn't see her even so much as touch a piece of fabric. No, no sewing machine, no crochet needles, no nothing. It's like, you have these businesses. This is the perfect platform for this show. I feel like this is what reality TV is about. Like, if you have a business, you have some type of anything that you can promote, promote that on the show. That's what you need to be doing. And I just, it's just missed opportunity after missed opportunity after missed opportunity. Um, Brianna, who is Kendu's daughter, she appeared, I don't think she has a good relationship with her father. Um, we don't ever really see her talk about him, even like their name tags on the show. Hers just says artist while everyone else is kind of says whose kid they are. Hers doesn't mention Kendu, but, um, her entire storyline was her being mad at Boogie because Boogie let Egypt talk shit about him last season, talk shit about her last season on one small scene of an episode. And it's like, all right. But then we find out that Brianna has an incense line. It would have been nice to see her work on the incense line. 
the scene that we even see of her being in her um office space was when Boogie came to approach her and they get into some beef because he tells her that she drinks too much and she's an alcoholic and she's offended by that girl you do drink a lot and it could be editing it could be a bad take but we have also seen Brianna do some heavy drinking some heavy drinking and show her black ass too so it's kind of like it's oh, it's grating to watch such a good show just tank and I feel like these past couple seasons for a lot of TV shows have just kind of been like what the what is going on um Egypt Lord have mercy Egypt is Peppa and Treach's daughter <sighs> Egypt and Sam this entire season has been us watching Sam go from OnlyFans to having a male thong line to getting some some hairless cats that he wanted to breed together to making music. Sam is looking for a get-rich-quick scheme. Egypt has lost herself so far up in this man that... At this point, like... Girl, whatever happens, happens. Um, the bulk of the season was Egypt fighting with Titi. Indirectly, because neither one has talked. Neither one has spoken to the other until the finale. But it's them going back and forth with he say, she say, boo. Egypt's mad that Titi is getting married in Jamaica. Both of y'all are Jamaican. Y'all are literally first cousins. Both of y'all are Jamaican. So why is it a problem if she gets married in y'all homeland? Like, I just, I can't. I, I, I'm I sick of the whole Egypt and Sam narrative. Because at this point, they have no storyline either. It's always Egypt screaming about how she is so grown and she's an adult and she can do whatever she wants to. Meanwhile, you're living with your boyfriend that does not work. You don't work and you're living in your mother's house. It honestly, I I think Sam is really Peppa's boyfriend. I think he's sleeping with the both of them. Could be threesomes going on up in there for all we know. But it is just, what has happened to the show? And you don't want to say that the show took a, um, a tank because of Romeo left. But sheesh, the show was bad before he left. But it's just worse and worse and worse and worse. Easy E, little Easy E son, um, Eric truly has no storyline but in reality 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 he owns like a very successful dispensary why didn't we talk about that where does he get the weed from is he growing the weed himself does he outsource the weed like it's so many different things that should be taking place on this show that i just feel like it's missed opportunity after missed opportunity after missed opportunity um don't bring it back. There's no need to bring it back. I think when I think of a reality show, there has to be some type of something. But we can't have these mindless scenes. There's too many people on this cast where we're not actually getting anything about them. You know what I mean? Like, we don't know what the hell Vanessa does. We don't know where Vanessa lives. We don't know anything about Vanessa. We know very little about Angela. Um, JoJo and Tenise give us very little. Like, to me, this is just, it, it doesn't feel like a true reality show. We don't see scenes of people just sitting up in their house eating dinner. <laughs> Whether those are real or fake, like, we don't see them. And it's just, this show, I feel like the entire season, every single cast member literally focused around T.T.'s wedding. When in all actuality, y'all probably, y'all are not really cool with that girl. If we, you know, when her wedding comes out, I'll be shocked to see any of the cast members at the actual ceremony. 
But y'all spent the entire season neg negating, neglecting, ignoring all the other, like, the businesses that you guys have. The real stuff y'all could be promoting and telling the world about to get Instagram followers up for your business page, to get sales, to get promotion, to literally talk about TT's wedding, to talk about Sam boxing outside and his dog, to talk about, like, it is, growing up hip-hop, do better, be better, that's it, y'all.